What's up, Creed? Coming at you with the Friday's demo video for our warm up. We got on a five minute running clock, so we're gonna probably get through one round of this. If the clock is still ticking, go ahead and start back over with your cardio choice until you hit five minutes, all right? So we're going one minute cardio choice. We'll show you our four options. One minute single unders, 50 mountain climbers, 40 jumping jacks, and 20 hollow holes. Kind of working down the ladder with that there. All right, so our cardio choices, obviously you can run a jump rope, or we can do our jumping jacks, or our high knees, or our mountain climbers. And last but not least, a seated run, all right? Then we go into our 100 single unders, all right? So if you don't have a rope, obviously you can use a ghost rope, but if you do have a rope, I would encourage that. Set, or third move we have, 50 mountain climbers. So we just showed that. We're down on the ground, knees close to the floor, shoulders over wrists. And then we go into 40 jumping jacks, showed those beginning as well, and then 20 hollow rocks. So this will be in our hollow hold position, making ourselves look like a nice banana right there, and we're rocking back and forth, tapping the heels to the ground. Every time we tap the heels, that's one. Go into 20 here, keep that back rounded. All right, so then we have Friday's workout. First part, Imam by 12 minutes. We're starting with, sorry, not an Imam, E2 Mom. That two is so sneaky, I swear, every time. E2 Mom, so every two minutes on the minute, for 12 minutes, you have six rounds of this. So you have two minutes to complete. Five and five dumbbell Russian step ups. We'll be showing you what those guys look like in a second. Eight up downs and six and six on dumbbell shoulder press. Metcon portion, three sets, three minutes, one minute of rest after every set. All right, so our first minute, we got max bent over rows. If you have one dumbbell, you'll do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. If you have two dumbbells, go ahead and knock them out, both arms for a full minute. Minute plank hold is our second movement, and our last movement is max double unders or single unders, then we rest for a minute at the end, all right? So we're starting with our dumbbell Russian step ups. That first foot that comes up on there, that's gonna glue onto the box. We're not moving that foot, that stays up there. The other foot is stepping down and driving that knee high, all right? Drive that knee high, keep that toe flexed, point that toe to the sky. Once you get five on one leg, you'll switch legs and do five on the other, all right? So just imagine you're driving that knee through a wall, you wanna make sure you get to that wall, so it's gonna be a powerful knee drive when you come up, all right? Then we got eight up downs, eight up downs, all right? So we're keeping that chest off the ground, arms extended, jumping those feet back, jumping those feet forward, a little hop at the top. Then we have six and six dumbbell shoulder press. This will be strict, so our lower body is giving us no help here. We're just locked in, legs straight out, glutes tight, core is tight, chin is head through the hole at the top, all right? Good, punching the ceiling. Then Metcon, three sets at the end. We got max bent over row. So like I said, we only had one dumbbell, breaking up the hips, flat back, almost parallel with the floor here, and that dumbbell's going back to our hip. Good stuff. Then we have a plank hold. We're down on the ground on our elbows and forearms. We are straight line from heel to shoulders here. No sinking in our back, no curvature. We don't wanna see any of that. No piking at the top either. You're a straight line, stiff as a statue. Then we have our max double unders or single unders. That is with a jump rope or ghost rope for a full minute. Then you rest for one minute. Going to sneak this little finisher in here on a four minute running clock. Max dumbbell curls. All right. So get those arms a little bigger. All right. Then we go into uh, a little hollow rock session if you stop curling. All right. So try to curl for all four minutes. If you cannot, which most likely I don't think any person should be able to curl for four minutes straight. I, if you can, you might need to up the weight, I don't know, because that's, that's a long time to curl. <laughs> but every time you break or you can't get a full rep in, you're doing 10 hollow rocks, just like in our warm up, all right? So we won't be demonstrating the hollow rocks, but this curl right here, that palm is facing upward, keeping that elbow nice and close to our body. And then let's say if you only have one dumbbell, you'll go for about 30 seconds or until that arm gives out and you'll switch to the opposite arm. Once that opposite arm gives out, then you'll go into your hollow rocks. If you have two dumbbells, Work both at the same time, and once an arm gives out, you drop into your hollow holds. All right, Creed, see you guys later.